Maintaining the correct water chemistry is important for a few reasons. Firstly, it keeps the water looking good, nice and clear and sparkling. Secondly, it prolongs the life of the filter, the chlorinator and the pump. It can also prolong the life of the surface of the pool. Thirdly, it's for bather comfort. A high pH or high chlorine level can irritate the skin or the eyes. There are three simple ways to test the water. Firstly, and possibly the least accurate, would be to use a testing strip. Secondly, there's a simple drop test. Every test kit's going to have its own instruction manual inside. Very easy to do. Thirdly, as we recommended in segment one, is to take a sample of water up to your local pool shop. As it's very easy to test the water and get results, but to know what to do with those results is a whole different thing. There are four factors that contribute to balanced pool water. They are chlorine, pH, total alkalinity and calcium hardness. It is important that you get your pool professional to test for these on a regular basis. As in the peak of summer, the pool can turn green overnight even though it looks clean and clear. Let's have a look at those four factors now. Chlorine controls the growth of bacteria and algae. Free chlorine is the active sanitizer, while combined chlorine is a byproduct that produces a strong chemical smell but is far less effective in fighting bacteria. Your target level for free chlorine should be between 1 and 3 parts per million. You should aim to test for free chlorine every few days during the peak of the swim season. Just note that a pool cover can affect your chlorine levels due to a lack of direct sunlight, so you may need to turn your chlorinator down when you have your cover on. If the correct levels of chlorine are present in a pool, it will have no smell. If there is a smell, it's probably due to the presence of chloramines, or too low a free chlorine level. The pH test measures the acid or base condition of the water. The optimal pH range for a domestic pool is 7.2 to 7.6. Chlorine is far more effective when the pH is maintained in this range, so you should aim to test the pH every few days during the peak of the swim season. If you have a fiberglass pool, you should try to keep your pH lower. Most manufacturers would recommend you keep it around 7.0. However, if you have a gas heater or a heat pump, it's a good idea to keep it slightly higher, as this will avoid corrosion. Total alkalinity is the ability of the water to resist the change in pH by adding sodium bicarbonate to the water. Maintaining the correct pH is dependent on the alkalinity. Your goal is to keep it between 80 and 120 parts per million and you should have your pool professional test this monthly all year round. Be aware of phosphates. Garden runoff and rain can put phosphates into your pool and help it turn green overnight. You should speak to your pool professional if this occurs and they will help you resolve the issues. Calcium is the most abundant mineral in the pool. High calcium levels can produce scaling on pool surfaces, while low levels make the water corrosive. You should have your pool professional test this monthly all year round. You should aim to maintain your pH and chlorine levels yourself every few days during the peak of summer. Zodiac recommends that you take a water sample up to your local pool shop every four weeks and get it tested. They'll test there for your salt, total alkalinity, calcium hardness and stabiliser. Remember that any chlorine treatment to your pool will be ineffective if the water is not balanced. Now that I've gone through water testing with you, let's take a look at segment three, where Andrew will show you how to set up your pool cleaner. Stop.